today we got a special type of video. Huge shout out to Bandai because they sent me this freaking Naruto box right here. Look at this. This is freaking sick. They hooked it up and uh, they managed to send me this new card game and it happens to be a Naruto slash Boruto slash Naruto Shippuden card game all in one. And uh, all I gotta say is huge thanks if you Bandai, like somebody from Bandai happens to watch this. I wanna say thank you for sending me this. I'm ecstatic. I'm a huge Naruto fan. My number one anime obviously is Dragon Ball. But, you know, I'm excited to make like a new super battle with like Naruto effects and Naruto soundtracks, uh, you know, to make a new battle. And that'll be super freaking tight. So I'm excited on that part. And also, I just wanna open this up. It's running the new Chrono class system. Uh, if you guys don't know what that is, let me zoom into that. So it's the new Chrono class system. Let me see, focus it. So the new Chrono class system is like a new way to play the game. It was like, um, it was developed by a, a game developer called Ryan Miller. And uh, he's like a famous game developer. And uh, he made this a uh, new way of playing the card game called Chrono Clash and they're gonna be making like other card games with the Chrono Clash system as well I saw they're making a Godzilla one which looks freaking super as well and uh, what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna open this up we're gonna look into it we're gonna try to figure out some of the like how to play the the game and, and things of that nature and uh, obviously hit that subscribe button like comment in the comment section below what you guys think about this and let's just open this up right here so here we go so uh this is gonna be uh the new card game coming out so it's looking like oh so they have it in in, in italy italian so like it's it looks like it's this is like the they're giving us the you know the rules how to play the game so they have it in italy dutch uh espanol portuguese French? I wonder if they're going to be releasing this card game for all these different countries. And obviously English at the end. So this is like the, the, the rule book that shows you how to play. You're going to have like all the little images to represent what each card does. So it's looking like you're going to have to like remember what most of these like images do because uh, I don't think they're, they're writing them on the card. And uh, I'll look into that when we make the actual battle video and like how to play the actual you know card game. And on top of that, you also get this cool uh, like field card. So this is the Chrono Clash system. So let's see if I can zoom out so you guys could check this out. So it's looking like you have, uh, up here you have this slider thing. You see that? We have this slider up here. So you, the way you play the card game from essence from what I have uh, researched, you start off at zero and then you know you do rock, paper, scissors or whatever. Somebody goes first. And then you can play your battle, or I don't know what they're called in this one, but you, you get to play your cards and onto the field. And they all have a specific cost. And depending on that amount of cost, the the you slide to the either the right or the left. And usually you're gonna slide to your opponent's side. And uh, once it's like the slider is on your opponent's side, once it hits one, it passes to your opponent's turn. So you're gonna be pretty much moving back and forth with your opponent and. Uh, this is pretty much uh, the Hidden Leaf Village, you know, repping my headband right here. So you get one of those, and with this one, you're gonna get two decks. And, you know, you got two playmats, one for you and one for your opponent, and it comes with a slider as well. Battlefield, deck area, discard pile, um, Guardian stack. So Guardian stack is kind of like Dragon Ball Super Card Game, I feel, from reading the rules. It's kind of like your life, but in this one, you get five Guardians. And once you run out of Guardians, uh, you pretty much lose in the game. So that's how you lose in the card game. You run out of your Guardian stack. And you usually start off with just five. And then your extra deck, which are going to be represented as big, fat cards. And, you know, quest points. And you could also win by certain quests as well. So this card game is going to be very unique. I'm pretty sure they're going to keep it themed to Naruto. Just how in Dragon Ball Super Card Game, they kept it like, it's very themed to like Dragon Ball. I feel like when you play the Dragon Ball Super Card Game, it feels like you're playing a Dragon Ball episode. I'm pretty sure they're going to do that with this. So here's our extra cards, which are, let's check this out. These are freaking fat. So, oh, I guess it's got super glued on or something. So let's check that out. Let's zoom in. And we got a Choji right here. This is from Naruto Shippuden. I, I remember Choji when he like was, uh, in Naruto, he was a little chubbier, 
and uh, we got Choji right here. Uh, well, let's just open this up. So these are our extra cards. These are extra fat. Like these are super big uh, extra cards right here. So let's open this up and we got Choji. Look at that, guys. Does that look crispy or what? I wonder if there's going to be holographic extra cards, like some big ones. So we got Choji. He's a four cost. And so pretty much when you play them, you're going to move forward to the left side. And, uh, you know, once you are on your opponent's side of the, like, the sliding bar, that means pretty much it's your opponent's turn. So these images right here represent different special skills that they do. I know the plus two means draw two, if I'm not mistaken. So the plus two means draw two. And we got the little froggy right here. Not bad. So it's looking like we're getting a variety of different cards from Shippuden right here. These are these are like uh, the the beasts that are in you know inside the you know Naruto and Gara and all of them. So and we also get the frogs freaking tight. Sorry if I wasn't in in in, uh, in screen. Look at that. We get the snake. So these look like all the big summoning jutsu type of cards and obviously the demons that are inside, you know, the, I forgot what they're called, Jinjuriki or something like that. Uh, we got all these big, so it's looking like all of these are going to be heavy battle cards. Look, like, well, I don't know what they're called in Naruto card game, but I call them battle cards. So, but these are our extra cards and they're pretty sick. The best one out of all of these, if I were to rate, it has to be the nine tail fox. Look at that. He's freaking sick looking. We don't have any hollow ones as of now, but yeah, like I said, all of these represent a different ability. So these are our extra cards, and look at the back right there, Naruto Virtual Card Game. And uh, I'm excited to play this card game and make like a super battle. So that's that, and now let's go into our actual cards. So here are the cards, and let's get into it. So this comes with two different decks. And uh, we're going to be getting a variety of cards from Berto, Naruto Shippuden uh, in this box. There's also cards from actual Naruto, you know, when they're kids and stuff, which is how I started watching Naruto. I never actually finished Naruto Shippuden. Uh, I got pretty far in Naruto Shippuden. I got up to where like Madara comes out and starts fighting the Hokages, but I never got farther than that. But look, so check out these cards. What do you guys think about the artwork? I want to see if we get a holo card. So we got, we're gonna, let's, how many of each card are we gonna get? So hey. it's looking like we got three of these. Uh, it's looking like we might get three of each card. So three of those, three Hugo, not bad. Ooh, look at this Eno card though, looking pretty darn sweet. I'm not gonna lie. So we got, so it's looking like you get three of each character as a like I think this is like a starter deck type of uh, vibe so it's one of them is Boruto and one of them is Naruto and I'm looking at it some of these cards are blue some of these cards like when you look at the cost are, are uh, not blue their other ones are yellow so I wonder if this is gonna work like Dragon Ball Super card game where it's like specific color cost like this one's purple you see it has a purple color scheme and two so I gotta look into it but you know the game it's like I don't even know if the game is released yet like Bandai is hooking me up like we got some Mikoski members here Not bad. So it's looking like you're getting three of every card and uh, We got 10 10 so This is pretty interesting. This is looking like it's gonna be, be a vanilla because it has no skill and uh, This one has a lot of skills. So like I said each one of these little boxes represents a different skill we'll go over it in another video when we actually play the card game and make a super uh, you know Naruto card game battle uh, I, I'm excited to that for that you know because I I'm, I really like editing the battle and uh, look at this Naruto though with uh, some of that Fox essence in him not bad right there I'm pretty sure he's gonna be pretty darn powerful but from what I've heard in this card game you could literally start off by playing your strongest cost battle card so if you want you could play this seven cost on your like turn one but just know that if you're the the bar is going to slide all the way to the seven meaning your opponent's going to be able to play more of these cards and uh and uh, usually you don't want your opponent to like have a swarm of like 
cards on the field because they're gonna kill you. And then this is a new card. What is this? So this turn is looking like I have to turn it to the side. And uh, player one is looking like the slider. It's like a slider card. Oh, and it tells you it tells you all the skills that each card represents. So uh, let's see if I can zoom into this. Uh, so. Like I said, I'll go over this in a different video, but I guess, I'm guessing this is a card to like, just in case you don't know, you're able to like, oh, so that's what that does, so you don't have to carry the manual all over your place. So that's one, one deck. So that was one of the decks. I'm pretty sure that was the Naruto Shippuden deck. So now let's get into the actual Boruto like starter deck. So this is, I'm guessing this is Boruto because I've never seen this character and uh, uh, like I said, I've never watched Boruto. I, 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 I still gotta get. To, I know that Sai. I, I got that far, Sai. But I'm not sure if Sai comes out in the new Boruto game. I mean, the new Boruto show. Yeah, all these characters are new to me. Like Mitsuki, uh, I've never seen any of these characters. Like, if I were to buy a deck, I would buy the OG Naruto when they're kids. Like Zabuza. I love Zabuza. Zabuza is like one of my favorite characters. Uh, Kakashi, I, I don't think I saw a Kakashi card, honestly. Uh, Neji, I love Neji. Look, we got Sakura right here. And she has the little medallion like Tsunade used to have right there. If you, if you, like, you can see that. That's, hey, that's hey, pretty. Hey, oh, look, talking about Kakashi, we just pulled the Kakashi card right here. And then Nara, I'm guessing that's uh, the son of, oh, I forgot his name. Uh, like I said, I am a Naruto fan, but like I'm a hardcore Dragon Ball fan. But you know, I, I know I know Naruto. Like Naruto, the the kids show, I saw all of that. Like I'm a huge Naruto fan, the OG Naruto. I even bought the video games and stuff. So I'm just excited to show you guys all these cards. We got Shino with uh, I'm guessing, yeah, like this card I've never seen in my life. But yeah, I, I'm gonna see if I can go over this very quickly. We also got some tournament packs. I know that's Boruto. We got Team 7. And it's looking like that might be Neji's kid. Correct me if I'm wrong. I know there's some of you guys in like watching this that are like, damn man, this guy knows nothing about Naruto. Or I know Naruto. And then that's the end of the Boruto deck. So I was right. I know for a fact that was the Boruto deck because half of those cards I have never actually, like characters I've never seen. So this is a player two slider card. Just in case, I'm guessing this is just in case you do not have like a play mat, you can use these as sliders. So you can slide on to, you know, your you play your, this is player ones, and then that's player twos, and then, you know, you just slide left and right between you and your opponent. So these are the slider cards just in case you don't have a mat, you know, to slide. So this is the Boruto, and, you know, we get some, there's still a couple cards. We got, oh, these are, I'm guessing these are like the, the good cards. I'm guessing, uh, cause I saw Sasuke, so <laughs> I know Sasuke is freaking good. So we got Sasuke right here as a character. We got Pain. Pain is freaking beast mode. That's one of my favorite battle scenes in the most animes. Is when Naruto fights Pain, man. That's freaking so sick. We got Uchiha, uh, Itachi right here. Freaking very beast character as well. Sakura, Kakashi, and it's looking like it's just you know, the remaining cards. And let's finish it off with the last thing that's in this box, and it happens to be these tournament packs. They're gonna be hosting tournaments for this card game, guys. So it's gonna be competitive. And uh, I just wanna get you guys' opinion. Hit it up in the comment section. But we're gonna open this up. Honestly, I don't even know if the card's gonna be good or not. How do I open this? There's no like little, uh, uh, I guess I have to open it the old-fashioned way, like this. All right. Hopefully I don't. Uh, all right. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna. Rip. I'm just gonna rip it with my teeth. Cause I suck at pack openings. I really suck at them. Like, the, oh, there you go. I opened it. All right. So here's the first one. So let's find out. I'm gonna open it upside down, just so like we can get a suspense. Hopefully it's hollow. We have not pulled any holo card. And these cards are way smaller than the Dragon Ball card game cards. Way smaller. Let's do a little comparison after compared to the Dragon Ball cards. So what do we get in the tournament pack? Is it holo? I want it to be holo. Oh, it's true. 
Damn, all right, these cards look sick. These cards look sick. This card, I wonder if it's good. I'm guessing it's freaking strong. It's a freaking nine tail and it's hollow. Uh, artwork, if I were to rate it, like, I honestly, I feel like the Dragon Ball cards, like, look at the difference. Like, I feel like they put a little bit more finesse. This is a rare, you know, and look how freaking crazy the rare looks. Uh, like, the hollowness, it's all right. Like, the, 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 I would say it's all right. Like, you can tell that Bandai has invested a lot more onto the, I'll leave the card right here. I'll take the box out. I'll leave the, the card right there for you guys to, to see as I open up the last pack. Sorry for making this video a little too long, but... Oh my god, I can't open these. It's annoying. Alright. There you go. They gotta make, they definitely gotta make these, uh, the cards, like, way smoother. Alright, so the next card right here, we got another tournament pack card. And let's see if it's good or not. Let's see. It's gonna be... Oh, Victoria, not bad right here. Look at that, and it's hollow too. Not, not bad. So that's what we got off the tournament pack of cards, and uh, that's gonna be the end of the video. Let it be known in the comment section below what do you guys think about this. Uh, I can't wait to make a battle, show you guys how to play it, and uh, like we always say, y'all stay super.